So, Europa League, and we are away to Red Star Belgrade. Um, interesting start in 11, it's just been announced, and we are playing with Debucci, yes, he's still at the football club, Mohamed El Neni, and Rob Holding at centre back. I'm not sure we left Highbury for this shit, but there you go. We're then playing with Maitland Niles at left wing back. And we're playing with Rhys Nelson at right wing back. So out of that back five, only Rob Holding is playing in the proper position that he's natural in. Unbelievable. Three midfielders are playing in defence. I don't get it. I really don't. I have no idea what Arsene Wenger is doing with this lineup. But there you go. We've got Giroud, Walcott and Wilshere up front. Um, with Wilshere and Walcott just behind Giroud. Um, I don't know. We've got Coughlin in the team as well. I don't know. I'm looking at this starting eleven, thinking, wow, did we really sell out for this? But at the same time, it is only the Europa League, I keep getting told. Well, I don't care if it's only the Europa League. I want to win it. And I want us to win every single game along the way. Um, I suppose we're going to see. Anyway, I'll see you at half-time. That was boring. It's currently nil-nil at half time. We've had one chance from Theo Walcott, who should have buried it really, although it was on his left foot, but that's irrelevant. You know, he's on 140 grand a week and loves spending his days posting Instagram pictures um, before and after gym sessions. Maybe concentrate on your fucking finishing, Theo, because it is pony. Other than that, They've had a couple of chances themselves. They hit the bar with a downward header. Um, Czech made a save from close range, which ricocheted straight back to the guy. And then Nelson made a block. But it's absolutely boring. We don't play good football anymore. The, this game is now Arsenal. This is what we do every week. We go out and we play sideways and backwards. We run down the wing, we stop, we turn back. It is fucking boring. Unbelievable. And I can't see it getting any better in the next two years while he's still here. So I suppose we just got to suck it up and deal with it. Anyway, let's hope the second half's better. We're now sat nine points out of nine with a less than convincing 1-0 victory, which turned out to be against 10 men in the end. I thought the red card was a little bit harsh on the guy. Um, the second yellow card for... What was deemed an elbow to Coughlin's face. I don't think he meant it. And I think it was a harsh second yellow. But it is what it is. Giroud's goal was fantastic. And Wilshere was heavily involved. As was Theo Walcott. But let's have it right. It was absolutely fucking boring. We've got the win. That's all that matters. But at the same time, there's going to be people out there. That are going to be going, why are you moaning? You know, we topped the group. We've got nine points out of nine. We won away from home. We stopped a team scoring against us. Blah, 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 bollocks. At the end of the day, the way I see it is it's totally disrespectful to the players that we're playing out of position. You know, the confidence in these kids must be, you know, non-existent at the minute. You're playing Reese Nelson, an attacking midfielder at right wing back. You're playing Maitland Niles, a central midfielder, at left wing back. You're playing Mohamed El Neni, a deep lying midfielder, at centre back. Come on, seriously, sort it out. Yes, we won. It was far from convincing, but it is three points. And we move on to the Everton game. Before I go, go and check out my Premier League predictor video. I put that out yesterday where I predicted all the games coming up this weekend and the score lines. Um, well, I didn't predict the games. They're obviously set in stone, but I predicted the score lines to them games. And tomorrow, I'll be putting out my Everton preview. Subscribe, like, share. Don't forget to leave your comments down below. I'm out of here. Laters, peeps.